Greetings, my name is Martin and in this video I will show you how to do homework 2 problem 1. The problem asked us to design the simplest sum of product circuit that implements the function fx1, x2, x3 equaling the sum of midterms 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Write the truth table, canonical sum of product form, minimal form, and cost. So we will be doing the truth table first, then the canonical sum of product form, then minimal form, fourth simplest sum of product circuits, and then we will lastly do the cost. For the truth table we have here numbered 0 to 7 in decimal and binary. Here we have x1, x2, x3, our three variables. And the problem gives us this list, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, which is where every row is true, as I have here. So with that, we could write our min terms, which is in this row, not x1, x1, x2, not x3, not x1, x2, x3, x1, not x2, not x3, x1, not x2, not x3 x1, x2, x3 and we combine all these terms using an OR operator and we have our canonical sum of product form. Now for the minimal form we will use the canonical sum of product form and these properties to simplify. 12a is distributed property and what happened here is that instead of distributing we took out a variable and this case these two terms we took out x1 and in these two terms we took out not x1 and we then we use 14a combining a combining property as we have here then we took out the parentheses to make it easier to see our next property that we would be using which is 12a distributive property once again we, we're taking out a variable from these two terms then we will be using 16a, which is another combining property, as, as shown here. Then lastly, we will actually distribute using distributive property 12a right here, which leaves us with our minimal form. For the simplest circuit, we will be using the minimal form to help with us. We know that we have three variables, x1, x2, x3. Within those three variables, two of them use the NOT gate being x1, x2, and we know we have three AND gates because we have three terms in the minimal form. Then once we have that, we connect the lines accordingly to the AND gates. Then we write the OR gate, which connects from the AND gates to it, which gives us our simplest circuit. So when determining the cost, we could use our diagram. We know that not gates cost us two. In this case, we have two of them, so they each cost us two. And slash or gates cost us two times the number of inputs plus two. In this case, we have three identical AND gates, each having two inputs, so two times the number of inputs being two plus two, equaling a six for each AND gate. Then we know that or gates also cost us 2 times the number of inputs plus 2. In this case, we have 3 inputs. So 2 times 3 plus 2 equaling us 8. So we just add up all of our costs for each gate, which leaves us with it costing us 30.